classes it as being racist. That's what that's his opinion. Okay. And we know these Muslims, they want to wipe anything to do with Jesus completely off the map. Yeah, so it's another Christian place taken over. Um, now there's bits of, of a story. Sekitar 100 bangunan gereja ditutup di seluruh Inggris setiap tahunnya. Just keeping the roof on and the cold out. It's astonishing how much money that costs. Walaupun bangunan itu sangat berharga karena menyimpan begitu banyak sejarah, namun para pemimpin agama dan uskup setempat tak bisa berbuat banyak untuk mengatasi permasalahan ini. Because we are people who need to know our story. These extraordinary kind of storehouses of local memory are uh, uh, are on everybody's doorstep. We have nearly 16,000 parish churches, many of them uh, eight, nine hundred thousand years old, all telling the story of that local place. And I think that being a being a Christian country is not it's not just a, di a description of the present; it's an inheritance from the past. Untuk pertama kalinya dalam sensus. Kurang dari setengah populasi Inggris dan Wales menggambarkan diri mereka sebagai orang Kristen. Data dari Brewery Konsultan menunjukkan penurunan pemeluk agama ini dimulai pada tahun 1970-an. Pada tahun 1960, ada 53.200 jemaat gereja di Inggris. Jumlahnya turun menjadi 45.500 pada tahun 2023. Dulunya ini adalah gereja Anglikan Saint Mark, kini sudah berubah menjadi sebuah bar. Mercato My Fire tidak hanya telah diubah menjadi serangkaian bar dan restoran, namun altar dan kapel pun digunakan sebagai bagian dari furnitur bar tersebut. And was there any backlash at the time? You know, you're converting the church. Not at all. Us being Italian, we went to talk to the church directly in Italy, and they told us that once the church is deconsecrated, it's not the church anymore. You can do whatever you want. Do this. I'm just gonna... Merubah gereja menjadi bar sepertinya terlihat begitu mudah. Namun tidak dengan pria Kristian ini, ia adalah salah satu dari warga Inggris yang mencoba untuk melawan peralihan gereja-gereja tua menjadi masjid. Do this. I'm just gonna... I'm gonna wander on. There's nobody here. Uh, just to give you a look. I'm not gonna spend much time on here. I don't want to be looked at. Oh, there it says across there. Yeah. Now this, that there, now them windows have been replaced. There was a um, a stained glass window setting depicting Jesus. That's gone. There was a cross up there. Uh, that's that's gone. Um, now that you can see pictures of that if you just put Saint Peter's Church in the Westlands on uh, Google, and you can see pictures of that. So they've got rid they've got rid of that. Uh, now this is an Islamic center, so it's for the teachings of the Quran, uh, the teachings of um, Sharia law, all that sort of stuff. Um, another place worshiping Muhammad. Worshiping Muhammad. You're a racist. That's it. Sorry. That's it. It's not disgusting. It's perfectly normal. Another example of the lesser spotted racist. Christian churches all over the UK for the last 20, 30, probably 40 years have been being demolished and repurposed. They've been turned into houses, blocks of flats, HMOs, mosques, synagogues, community centres, um, because people don't go to church. When I was a child, and in fact, when I first moved here, which is what, just over 30 years ago, you could go to a church on a Christmas morning and it would be packed. And it would be full of people singing carols and all the rest of it. I went to our local church, which has been there a thousand odd years, and there were less than 15 people in it. People do not go to church anymore. Not in many, many places. I doubt that man's gone to church. So they deconsecrate the buildings and they sell them off because they are really expensive to maintain. That's not even a particularly old church, for heaven's sake. Islamic Centre, Maz, Masjid at Taqwa.
Um, here in Newcastle Underline, there's the sign just there. I'm going to get you a closer look at that sign. Just here, this is what the place is. Now, yeah, so it's another Christian place taken over. Christian place taken over. Britain is being taken over by Muslims. My country needs to go back to the way it was. What are you actually scared about? Let me tell you something. Muslims don't like porn. They don't like violence. They don't like drinking. What happens in your family households at every point of the year where you get together when you start drinking? Tell me. Tell me that. Leave it in the comments. What happens in our British drinking culture when we get together and drink? Oh, wait. Muslims don't like cheating around. The no sex before marriage. Tell me, if you're a British woman, especially if you're working class, tell me if you've ever been cheated on. Oh, wait. And then tell me if you like that. Do you like that about our culture? Do you like our men not having any faith? Do you like dating men who don't pray? And men that you cannot lean on when there is severe stress in the family or in your life? A man that doesn't say, don't worry, God has got you, let's pray on it. Where has that got you? How has your relationships been? How have your relationships been, sorry? How much therapy have you had to do because of the relationships you've been through? I'll wait. Muslims don't like gambling. Do you like it when your wife or your husband or your friend gets addicted to gambling and then wastes all of your money and you end up in a hellhole? And you have to start again. Muslims promote monogamy and staying together forever. Tell me, would you like that as a woman? Or would you prefer <laughs> to keep doing what you've been doing forever? Muslims are clean. It would be a clean country. Great hygiene. If more Muslims keep growing in your neighbourhood. Or would you prefer to live with your neighbours who have a um, wheelie bin full of beer cans every weekend? Is that what you want? To keep Britain being about British? <laughs> Did you know white people can be Muslim? Did you know that <laughs> nothing to do with Islam itself? It isn't Islamic and it, you're not a Muslim if you do that sort of shit. The stuff that the newspapers report on to give us a really bad view of Islam. All Muslims would agree that these are not Muslim. They are not practicing the faith. You and we have all been brainwashed by British BBC, British company. That's what it stands for. <laughs> Your children would be safer in a highly populated Muslim area. Or are you still under the illusion that white, non-Muslim people don't do violent things towards people and children and wives and girlfriends and friends and sisters and mothers? That godless men don't produce violence in this society? Open your mind. Pada akhirnya, Allah tidak menzolimi siapapun. Mereka lah yang menzolimi diri mereka sendiri. It's not racist, is it? Classes it as being racist. That's what Matt's his opinion. <laughs>